Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'd like to show you how to design slow motion fire with water. Now if you think about it, it's very easy to do, it's just a matter of pitching it down and putting a low pass filter and then adding some reverb to make this dreamy kind of sound. But that being said, this video actually originated from an idea that I had a few days ago of putting my shotgun microphone inside of my toilet and flushing to try to simulate a hydrophone. And the result was a great success. The microphone was well wrapped, so there was no water getting into it, which was great and safe to do it. I'm not that crazy. But then because the recordings were so amazing, I wanted to try to do something like this. And all of these sounds were created using the toilet flushes, except for this one. This is just a fire wish from a sound effects library that I have, which sounds like this. Just to accentuate the transition from normal to slow motion. And this is the final result of everything. Sounds pretty cool. And actually the recordings are really good. Let, let me show you actually, hang on a second. So this is the first one. And then the second one. So as you can see, it sounds really good, right? The shotgun mic did a great job and I'm very happy about it. But anyways, let's get into it and let me show you what I did. So I loaded the samples into contact and all that I did was just modify the start time to the very beginning of the sample. And this is how it sounds like with just a little bit of limiting. Not bad, not bad at all. And then when you load a reverb, such as Black Hole, which, by the way, is my favorite one. So that's the first layer, and then the second one... Let me unmute it. Whoops. The second one is just starting from the middle, so... That's pretty cool as well, and nothing else going on here, it's just the sample. And then the third is just this. Well, actually the third has this rotator effect, so it pans from one side to another. And then I played around with some distortion. and also with the formant effect. It's not the best one, but it gives an interesting texture to the sound as a whole. So let me just bypass everything again. And then whenever I enable all of them, this is how it sounds like. That's pretty cool. And then something that I did as well was I applied GRM Reason to try to bring up the resonant frequencies of those sounds as well. This is how all of the layers sound individually and together.
that is pretty much it for this tutorial. If you're curious about what I did to try to waterproof the shotgun microphone, there is a video that's all about that and the link is in the description. But anyways, thank you for watching and as always, I wish you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See ya!